that are moving and fluid and drawing really is making connection. a strong it statement. Makes me happy. The essence of good art is not found in its subject matter, its method, or its medium, but in the hearts of its viewers as expressed through their voices. They just give me joy. I am so very excited to add the eclipse which is going to be the center focus of all of my wall art. It's about what it means to you. Growing up in Kansas City, Missouri, in the late 70s and early 80s, there was a time where I was not allowed to be myself. Much ridicule, not only from friends and peers and teachers, but from my own family, which caused me to develop an early onset identity crisis. Moving to Chicago in 2005 in my mid-20s, allowed me the opportunity to figure out who it is that I am and exactly what it is that I want. Along the way, I found addiction to drugs, alcoholism, and found out that I'm a pretty good career server. So I went on to get my level two wine sommelier license, but inevitably, the alcohol took the better of me and I ended up back on disability. As I now try to resurface and gain some sort of meaning in my life, I made the decision to have friends do personal artwork and this one is by far my favorite. I absolutely love the vibrancy of his color and composition. Often aligning with celebrations of life and love, the flowing beauty to his art. You could see things moving or growing. Peter's or work is really way. just so multifaceted. You can't help but find something to love. Right. Bold. Especially in the Infinity Dragon, the use of grayscales and black just makes even a small amount of color pop all that much more. It's about what it means to your family. What do you think of when you hear the term mama bear? You think of a protector. You think of someone fierce and someone loyal. Someone who fights hard and someone who will love hard. Someone like a proud mom of an LGBT kiddo. I work at an LGBTQ teen center and a lot of our youth are transgender. It's about finding a visual for your voice. Characters in the painting have such love and affection and such security, which is something that the kids don't always see in their lives. So to, to have a painting like that, um, that expresses that and just hung in the room for them is really a joy. I have several Peter Thaddeus paintings that celebrate the LGBTQ community. Inspiring and creative. His style evolves, but there is this underlying connection. I think I might be starting to become addicted to acquiring new paintings by Peter. He's a very thoughtful person. You can see that in his work. The way he builds and layers and patterns, he's very careful and sensitive to how things relate and interact. Color, light, line, shape. The colors just pop and draw you in. Constant swirl of energy. I've deliberately placed his piece, Angel in the Water, in my house so that the moment a guest walks in, their eyes will be drawn to it and they can share in my experience of falling in love on first sight with Peter's art. It brings a simple excitement and joy. It's about having fun. So how do you feel about sitting for a nude sketch? Nervous. Like, I was nervous up until right now, I guess. Now that I'm naked, I'm less nervous. This is cool. I'm excited. So that pose is great. I am just curious uh, why you chose that facial expression. Is there a reason why you're not smiling? I don't know why I'm not smiling. I just assumed that I was the king on my throne making a difficult decision. So I don't feel like he would be smiling right now. Like, I just love fantasy worlds. I love Dungeons and Dragons. So this is like, I, really exciting. <laughs> I'm gonna be a fairy. <laughs> just really represent lightful and yet uh, meaningful. I love the LGBTQ section. They're just fun. They're fun to look at. So they make people happy. Fierce. They just brighten my morning and they make me happy and smile. I really love phases. It's the first thing I see when I walk in my door and it just makes me smile. And then I go in another room and there's another painting and it makes me smile and it's great. I'm an avid poker player and it's really nice to see something I'm passionate about reflected in art. My favorite is when children see his work for the first time. I see these open little hearts and minds walk up and just look. And they're not asking, why are there two men? Why are there two women? They're seeing the connection and the love. And they even see the hurt and the struggle. And they just see. They're just so celebratory in nature and, and they bring such depth. All people stop to look at his work. One of my favorite things is when they stop and look and then look around for someone to talk to about it because they want to explore it more. 
happier and positive and just makes me feel good when I'm in a bad mood. So it helps me sleep at night and just helps me calm down. When I look at them, they make me feel very calm. I really wish that I could paint like that. As a photographer, I'm grateful for truly talented people like Peter. There's a lovely motion to everything Peter does. connections to other things like travel or Chicago. Beauty and the fascination and the depth of the city. Uh, a lot of flowing pieces, the Chicago pieces, the montages. I love seeing different parts of the city all put together. That's why I'm six going on eight pieces from Peter. Thank you, Peter. I could Always. not take my eyes off it. I and I had the good fortune to work on a custom a bunch of piece the with Peter. I enjoyed the intricate simplicity of I did just assume and that I was the king in this. several pieces of Peter there. Am I not the king? Someone like a proud mom of an elder. I, I just love it. And them. this one is by far my favorite. Thaddeus Art, Be Heard.